Multiplying fractions is actually really easy. Sort of. It's only easy for two of the three kinds of fractions, right? Uh, just leave it there, that's fine. Uh, what are the three kinds of fractions? Do you remember what they are? Yeah, no. Uh, mixed numerals, that's the first one. Somebody give, someone give me another one. Yeah, Liam. Improper fractions and obviously because these are improper, the last one is for what? Proper fractions, good. Now, for two of them, namely this one and this one. Multiplication of fractions is super easy. In fact, it's probably easier than adding them, okay? Uh, but what we've got over here is mixed numerals. Now, being that this is harder, and I'll show you why in a second, the strategy we're going to take is we're going to turn this into one of these, and then it's simple, okay? So watch with me first. What I'm going to do is show you uh, a common way to approach this, which isn't right, but it's just as important to look at ways not to do something than to know the ways to do it, okay? Because then you know what to avoid, and common mistakes, a lot of people make them, so we want to watch out for them. Now, one of the ways I've seen a lot of you do is say, well, I've got this times this, right? I don't really know how to do that, so I'll separate them out. I'll do the whole numbers first. I'll go one times one, and that's one. And then I've got a half and a half, so I'll go a half times a half. And because that's a proper fraction, it's easy to multiply. Half of a half is a quarter, right? So you're like, I've got one times one here, I've got half times half here. I should put them together, and you get um, one plus a quarter. That's one and a quarter, okay? Now, you should be suspicious of this, right? This is not the right way to go, though it does seem like it makes sense. The way you can know, even before knowing what is the right way to do it, the way you can know this is actually not right is because if you multiply something by one and a half, right? Like say 10 times one and a half. Does the number 10, does it get bigger or does it get smaller? Bigger. It gets bigger. It'll get 50% bigger, one and a half, okay? But one and a quarter is smaller than what we started with. It's smaller than both of these, right? So one and a quarter can't possibly be the right answer, so therefore, how do we do it? Okay. Well, what I'm going to do, as I said before, I'm going to convert. I'm going to go from a mixed numeral into an improper fraction, and then I can just multiply across. So let's watch. One and a half. It's nice that they give us the same number, because once we do one, we've got both of them. What's one and a half as an improper fraction? Yeah, Naomi. Three over two. Three over two, perfect. And the way you can see that, right, is if I split this back up into a two and a one, two plus one over two. Your two over twos, your one out the front, and your one over twos, the half. So there you go. Three over two, and it's the same fraction again. Okay. So now that it's an improper fraction, it's really easy. Let me just, um, rather than put down the answer, I'll show you what's, the, what's going on in my head. I want to multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. They turn into one fraction. Okay. Three times three, of course, is nine, and two times two is... Four. Now that is the correct answer, but being that they gave it to us as a mixed numeral, we should probably give it back as a mixed numeral as well. So some of you will be able to convert this directly to a mixed numeral, which is great. For those of you who maybe can't see it straight away, what intermediate line could I put in here to help me work out what mixed numeral it's equivalent to? What can I do? Hmm. Um, yeah, do you want to go, Chelsea? Good. You do 9 divided by 4, right? You get, hmm, how many 4s fit into 9? Two. 2. So I'm going to get a 2 out the front, okay? But there's a remainder, isn't there? What's left over? There's 1, because 2 times 4 is 8, right? So that remainder of 1 becomes the fraction there. There you go. Yep. Yeah. Oh. Thank you. My OCD self is happy now. Okay, great. There you go. So that's fine, that's the way you do it. Some of you as well might write it like this, eight plus one over four, because eight plus one is nine, eight over four is two, it's exactly the same thing, okay? But the important thing is, you do show this working. I know you wanna go straight from here to here, or even, not even write this down, just write down the answer. The problem with that is, uh, both in your own work and in exam, is if something goes wrong, something up here gets confused and you get this wrong, if none of this is shown, if all I see is just that, right? Then I don't know where it's come from. I don't know if you just guessed. I don't know if you really understand what's going on, okay? Whereas you can see what's happening and how I've gotten the answer, okay? 
Does anyone want to clarify anything that's on the board there? Does that make sense? Um, I'm going to do the next one. You're going to tell me what to do, though. Okay, so let's do the next one, which is H2 and 2 sevenths. What am I going to do first? I need to do a conversion, right? Yeah, bear me. Good. Okay, so let's do the 2 and 2 over 7. Alina, do you reckon you could convert that into an improper fraction for me? Yeah, 16 over 7. Well done. Okay, so if you didn't see that straight away, the 16 comes from 7 times 2, which is 14, plus 2. So it sort of goes around if you remember me doing that diagram, right? So 16 over 7, good. 3 and a half. Ooh, improper fraction. Who could do it? Yeah, do you want to go there? Well done. We're doing well. Now, this is a good example to follow on with because we could multiply across, but you've seen before, we want to avoid big numbers, right? So rather than do 16 times 7 and 7 times 2, I'm going to notice I can cancel, right? If there's a 7 on the top and a 7 on the bottom, I can get rid of both of them, right? This guy and this guy, they will vanish. Okay? So that's going to be 16 on 2, which of course is... Eight. There you go. And you don't need to do any more conversions. That's it. Okay?